Facebook, Facebook, Facebook. It's been under fire for quite some time now. Sneaky privacy policies, preying on consumers through addictive algorithms for profit, and even swaying public opinion in elections. Without going too far, just this year, we had the Stop Hate for Profit, where big players in the Facebook ad space, like for example, Starbucks stopped advertising on Facebook. We've had Apple iOS updates allowing their users the ability to turn off tracking, pretty much rendering retargeting ads useless, and even very recently popular Netflix documentaries like The Social dilemma shining a light on the problems by the way i highly recommend you give it a watch very good documentary now i will say this if you guys are new to my channel i run a social media marketing agency where we transform e-commerce brands into market leaders and 75 to even 80 percent of our marketing strategy relies on facebook ads we do things like search campaigns email marketing through clavio content creation but the main chunk of it is facebook ads but as an advertiser you gotta wonder are we seeing the decline of facebook is this still worth it are we safe putting our clients growth on the hands of Facebook. In this video, I'm gonna show with you the three best alternatives to Facebook ads. Alternatives that can only safeguard you from the decline of Facebook, but possibly even give you an edge over other agencies. So I'm very excited for this video because by the end of it, you're gonna have actionable strategies and alternative methods you can implement to get an edge over other agencies out there and provide killer results for your clients. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Now, I actually want to start off by talking about why I like Facebook ads and why I still think it can be very profitable. Ironic, right? Hear me out. The first thing you need to keep in mind is that Facebook ads is by far the most optimized algorithm out there when it comes to paid advertising. It's been around for 13 years at this point. And so they've had enough time to really optimize the living hell out of it. But not only that, one thing that a lot of people do not consider is that Facebook is not just Facebook, right? It's Instagram, Facebook, WhatsApp, and a myriad of other platforms and networks. What this means is that Facebook has a massive ecosystem of data mining. They're gathering tons of data points from users across so many different apps that people use on a daily basis, and they spend a lot of time on these apps. And so they have a very good understanding of the people you're advertising to. That's the first thing. And the second thing is all about sales. It's not so much about the actual service, but it's all about the sales psychology behind the service and behind selling the service. Because at the end of the day, that's how we make money as an agency. And when it comes to sales, you guys have to understand that to get a sale, there's typically two hurdles to get to that sale. Now, the first hurdle is, do I need this service? Do I need this thing? Right? Am I in the market for Facebook ads, for a pencil, for a laptop? That's the first hurdle. And the second hurdle is, is your agency, is my agency, for example, the best agency to provide the service for me? Is Apple the best laptop that I can get? Unfortunately, a lot of people make this mistake, but when you're selling something, you never wanna focus on hurdle number one. Imagine you started a vegan snack brand. The worst thing that you could do is put your marketing budget into hurdle number one, which would be convincing the population of the world that they need to go vegan. Do you know how expensive that would be? It is not your job to do that. Your job is to identify the people that are already vegan, the people that are already into your product, and make sure that they understand that you have by far the best vegan snacks in the market. The same thing applies for our agency. The really good thing about Facebook ads is that most companies have already jumped over hurdle number one because they've been bombarded by success stories of companies literally growing on the back of just Facebook ads, right? And so there's a lot of social proof, there's a lot of authority when it comes to Facebook ads. And most companies that I'm reaching out to, they already know what Facebook ads is, they already know the massive value of it. It's just conveying that we are the right agency to do that for them, right? Are there other more flashy ways of growing online? Yes, but are companies well accustomed to them or would you have to pitch them on the value of the service? Would you have to try to get them to jump over hurdle number one? Well, most likely. And that is why I like Facebook. It's a combination of the fact that the service is actually very good. So you can get your clients very good returns. And number two, they've already jumped over that first hurdle. And so I do believe that you can still be profitable. But having said that, the three alternatives that I'm going to give you also have these two things in place. But before I get into the alternatives, real quick, we need to talk about the sector, the niche, the group of people that we're targeting to sell these services to. And it's very important that we talk about this because different companies in different niches will need different things to grow online, right? And so they won't value the same type of services. Now, these services work particularly well for e-commerce businesses. If you guys are not new to my channel, you know how obsessed I am with e-commerce growth and how bullish I am when it comes to the e-commerce sector. But if you're new or you need some reminding, here are three reasons why I think e-commerce is by far the best sector and why these services are gonna tailor to e-commerce. Number one, clear cut returns. We can clearly tell them how much money we've spent for them. We can clearly tell them how much money we've made them and what the ROAS is on their investment. Not only that, but since we can clearly tell them how 
how much money we've made them, we can actually charge a performance-driven incentive on top of our base fee, which is how my students and myself actually make most of our money. The second thing is that e-commerce is a growing industry. It's grown more in the past six months than in its whole lifetime. Not only that, but if you compare that to local business, especially right now, we don't even know when they're gonna be reopening, and so they're running into cash flow issues, and not only that, they don't need more leads, right? Because they're not at 100% capacity. So that's the second reason. And the third and final reason among many, many others is that there's no geographical location. It doesn't matter where you're currently located, whether it's South Africa, India, US, UK, Spain, it doesn't matter, right? Because you can reach out to any e-commerce business in the world and they're only used to hosting their communication online. And so those are the three main reasons why these alternatives are gonna serve incredibly well for e-commerce businesses. And with that being said, let's get right into the alternatives. The first set of alternatives are in the paid ads category. In my opinion, the best alternative to Facebook ads is Google ads. I'm talking about Google shopping ads, Google display ads, search, SEO, et cetera, et cetera. At my agency, we've actually been doubling down on Google ads for some of our clients, and it's been working tremendously well to a point where I'm gonna be growing my Google ads division in my agency, so I'm very happy with Google Ads, its whole ecosystem, and also the fact that most companies have already jumped through that first hurdle that I told you guys about. So the first option is Google Ads, and the second option are what I call the trendy advertising platforms right now. The platforms that are recent and very hot, and those are Snapchat Ads and TikTok Ads. This final one needs a bit more maturing, but it's showing signs of potential. Now, the good thing about Snapchat Ads and TikTok Ads is that if you do things well and you have a good product and you have really good copy, really good targeting, right? You can actually get extraordinarily good returns on your investment. And the simple reason why this is, is because advertising platforms like to reward the newcomers, the early birds. And the reason why they do that is so that these early birds just rave about their product to everyone they know, and that way they grow their advertising platform. The same thing happens with social media apps. At first, it's very easy to get organic traffic because they wanna reward those newcomers and invite more people in by rewarding them with a ton, a ton of views. But as more people jump into the platform, then it becomes more saturated and then you have to pay to play. So that's the positive thing about those platforms. But the negative thing is that a lot of prospects haven't actually jumped over that first hurdle, which is do I wanna invest into TikTok? Do I wanna invest into Snapchat? It is not as well known. It doesn't have as much authority or social proof. And so it's a bit harder for the sales side of things, but it still has those advantages that I spoke about. So that's the first set of alternatives and now to the second alternative. But before we do that, a little quick interruption. If you're enjoying this video so far, go ahead and smash the like button. It really helps a ton with the algorithm and it helps my team and I to stay motivated to pump up these videos for you guys and so you can take value away from them. So if you haven't done so already, go ahead and smash the like button. I'll wait for you to do that now. And with that being said, let's get back into the video. The second alternative is email marketing. And personally, I love Klaviyo because it's a revenue-driven way of doing email marketing for your clients. When I mention email marketing, I'm not talking about sending a few newsletters out every Sunday or Monday for your clients. I'm talking about creating automated flows based on behavioral data. I'm talking about creating segments. I'm talking about creating lists. I'm talking about creating custom forms based on behaviors. So for example, if it's the second time that this person visits this website, they will get a different pop-up and a different course to action. I'm talking about really personalizing your customer journey through email marketing and optimize for revenue. And that's what Klaviyo is great at doing. And it actually breaks it down by different campaigns and different segments and different flows that you have, how much money you've generated for your clients. So I'm a big, big fan of Klaviyo and email marketing in general. In fact, we tell our clients that it should be 20% of their total revenue, which is massive for them. And the funny thing is most companies, especially e-commerce brands, they don't really have their email marketing on point. If you ask them, typically they will say, oh, I have a MailChimp account. That does not count as email marketing. Those are just some simple newsletters and maybe a few automations, but really Klaviyo is just completely on a different level. I'm not being paid to say this, I just love it so much. But if you wanna get enrolled with Klaviyo, I'm gonna leave my affiliate link, affiliate link, in the description. So if you use that link, you're gonna get a bunch of cool bonuses and you know, it helps other channels. So that is the second alternative, a revenue-driven way of email marketing through Klaviyo. To wrap that point up, and bringing it back to the hurdle analogy. The great thing about email marketing is that most companies actually already have email marketing, which is great. The only problem is that it is not optimized to generate revenue. They just have it there sitting, not doing much, because they just figured that they had to have email marketing in place. And so when you can show them that you can make them clear cut returns with your email marketing, then the sale is actually pretty effortless. So that's the second alternative and now to the final alternative. The third and final alternative is a content creation creation 
creative offer. Applying this for e-commerce brands, for example, you could offer e-commerce brands video ads for their product, which do really, really well, especially at the top of the funnel, going into a cold audience where you have to tell a very compelling story in a short period of time. And the creative component is very important for the paid ads component. And so especially if they're already running ads on any advertising platform, it's gonna be pretty effortless to sell them to a content package because the performance of the ads is gonna go up, which is gonna make them more money. And so you've turned this thing that technically is not revenue driven because creating a video doesn't really have clear cut returns. But if you can convey how much extra money a good video ad for their product is gonna make them, then it's actually much easier to sell it that way. And so those are the three best alternatives to Facebook ads. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm personally gonna to stick to Facebook ads for now. Obviously, I'm at a point with my agency where I can diversify into other services. I don't recommend you do that when you start out, but if you're starting out and you stick with Facebook ads, which I think is a good decision, at least you have these alternatives to keep in mind. So if you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead and drop a big, big thumbs up. If you haven't already, go ahead and leave down in the comments any questions you may have on this video, and I'll be sure to check those out if you haven't subbed to my YouTube channel, there's so much content coming out on entrepreneurship, social media marketing agency with a specific focus on sales, e-commerce, and outreach. So if you don't want to miss any of that, go ahead and sub to my YouTube channel. And the final thing is, if you haven't checked out my free masterclass on how to sign and keep four-figure agency clients, there's nothing for sale, no big paywall, and people are literally DMing me on a daily basis telling me, dude, I implemented your script, I implemented your strategies on your free masterclass, and it's honestly incredible. So if you wanna check that out, go ahead and check out the link in the description. I will probably be taking it down in the upcoming weeks, and I'm not messing with you, I will be doing so. Uh, so if you wanna check it out, go ahead and check out the link in the description. And as always guys, hope everything's going well in your agency journey, and I will see you in the next one, peace.